platform where there is 3D printing going on everywhere. And you're gonna show me how 3D printing happens and yeah, what you print. Exactly. This All shape right. right here can be printed in three minutes on a normal 3D printer. Oh, with our new extruders, we can print this same exact shape in three minutes. Um, it's much stronger, um, yeah. <laughs> much larger, and uh, that means that companies can get parts done quicker, get their jobs completed, move on to the next project and make more money. Um, 3D printing is not just with hard plastics or metals, but you can actually um, use no soft way. materials. Yeah, That's so cool. See, that is where my mind gets like blown because I can't believe this printed so. This is our partial development lab okay. and partial service bureau where we print parts for, for customers um, and for internal. One of the nice things about having a really big bed um, is that you can print not just one of something, but you can print lots of something. And here's just some, a couple of example uh, parts that print during the, the process. We have a nice large pawn. Uh -huh. uh, so if you know anybody wants a giant chess set? For giant uh, chess. You can go ahead and buy one of these machines and uh, make your own chess set. <laughs> yeah. So depending on what you're printing, the material that you're going to use um, will determine what you use um, for bed prep. And there's all kinds of different things that you can use. There's uh, specialty films that go down. Um, you can use like good old fashioned 1980s uh, <laughs> Aquanet. Aquanet. Um, or my personal favorite, you can use beer. Oh my gosh. Beer. <laughs> And you use beer to we, make sure your stuff works. We actually <laughs> do use beer on the glass to make sure that uh, everything sticks and everything works great. So 3DP also makes one of the world's largest industrial printers. Our Excel series is designed to be scalable, um, print car parts and larger parts, boat hauls, buses, uh, whatever your uh, customers might want on a grand scale. And as you can see, with Michelle standing yes. inside of it, you can it's print quite me. spacious. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. You can print me. <laughs> So what we're standing in right now is a bucket from a front end loader or something you find on a construction site ah. that is actually printed in uh, this machine. So for companies that want to, like Caterpillar, John Deere, uh -huh. whoever makes great big equipment, if they want to try something or if they want to use this as a pattern for casting, um, you can print that on this machine and then uh, go ahead and set the foundry to make the actual metal part. So when you when you 3D print, the first thing you have to do is figure out what it is you're going to print. Mm -hmm. You want know, to print like a pencil holder or something for sure. your desk? Once this gets done previewing, we finish watching it, make sure there's no issues. Uh, we'll save it to a memory card, and we'll take it over to the printer, we'll prep the printer, and then we'll start it. Okay. And then you'll have a little tchotchke for your desk. We've we'll prepped our files, put them on the SD card, um, we've cleaned the bed, at least the area that we're going to print. Um, we go ahead and put the SD card into the machine. Okay. Um, once we have it ready to go, all we do is hit print and then uh, it'll go on its way. So right now, um, we want the bed to be at roughly 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. Um, and uh, the nozzle temperature where the plastic is liquefied at uh, about 200, 210 degrees C. Um, so right now we're just waiting for it to heat up. Okay. And pretty soon the machine's gonna start moving on its own. Cool. This thing. What is this? Like a little caterpillar uh, bug thing. What um, do you no, use this for? Is it a toy? This is a toy. Okay. Normally, <laughs> yeah. no. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's maybe some industrial use for oh, this. Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, awesome. Well, thank you so much oh, you're for welcome. teaching me today. Absolutely. If you want to teach me how to do something, just let me know in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ZOKTV.